Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful channeled message from the silent no contact divine masculine to the divine feminine. I do hope you're well and that you're staying focused, believing and trusting in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you. So to receive the messages from the silent no contact divine masculine, I'm going to be bringing in first of all the divine masculine the silence from guided by angels. I'm going to use some other decks and I'll show you them as I'm using them. And I do know how important these messages are to you, Divine Feminine, because when you're not hearing from your Divine Counterpart, your Divine Masculine, there is silence. It is very scary. We do feel this confusion and the doubt really comes in strong. And it is very, very challenging to stay focused, to believe in that deep inner knowing. Um, so these messages are very important and it helps you understand you what's going on within you because you're one energy and one soul it helps you understand what's going on with your divine masculine and it helps you understand on a deeper level what this journey really is all about so what is it beautiful divine masculine why is it you're silent at this time what is it divine masculine that you want your divine feminine to know in this moment why is there silence? What is it you're facing in this silence, Divine Masculine? Why have you been hiding away? This is your opportunity to express in this moment to your Divine Feminine. What is it you'd love to say at this time? Nice, clear message. You inspire me to become a better person, so I am becoming a better person. I know it's frustrating and upsetting for you, Divine Feminine, because you're not hearing from, from me. But you are my inspiration. You give me so much hope, love and strength to believe in myself. Um, I can't believe how strong you actually are, the things that you face within yourself. And what I'm getting from this as well, this divine masculine is very aware that they are your divine masculine. And they want to be able to give you their all. <laughs> they want to give you the world. And they're dealing with their issues of why they didn't feel worthy to be able to give you the world. Um, so I feel this Divine Masculine also is very hard on themselves, puts a lot of pressure on themselves. Um, they want to get it right, perfectionist, a bit OCD about everything. Um, so <clears throat> they can see that you're so strong, that you're getting on with your life. And they know how tough this journey is because they're on this journey. They're facing things within themselves and they may be seeing, watching you divine him and thinking, oh my goodness, how have you managed to do all that? Because I feel as if I've been struggling. So my focus at this time is to become the best version of myself, divine feminine. Because that's what you deserve. And I really wasn't showing up for you. Um, you haven't seen my true authentic self. You've experienced traces of it. I don't want to give you bits and pieces. I want to show you who I truly am. And that's what I've been doing, is to find out who I truly am. I was so unsure of myself. But you inspire me, you give me that boost to face my inner fears, to go for my dreams and desires, to live the life of my dreams. So this divine muscle thinks so highly of you really does because they see when they look into your eyes the truth they can feel it they know how amazing you are they've experienced how amazing you are as well um so let's see what else wants to come through i want to reach out and tell you how i feel i really do <laughs> I really have got that urge at this time and the full moon in Aries energy is really supporting the divine masculine and helping the divine masculines have that strength and courage to be able to come towards the divine feminine to speak up and tell the truth of how they feel and explain 
what has been going on in this silence, um, what they have been facing. I want to tell you how I feel divine feminine, but this time I'm becoming the best version of myself. And I'm so grateful for you just being, because that inspires me, that gives me so much focus and determination to do this inner work and to sort things out in my life. Um, so let's see what else comes through. Please trust that I will find my way, Divine Feminine. And that is a tricky one. Divine Feminine. Um, because in the silence, you are left to it. You're in the darkness. And all you're left with is that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you. And some things that happen in the 3D and the physical... It, is, it feels as if it's going against everything that you do know. But in this preparation, in that darkness, you're finding that strength. You're working through whatever is thrown at you. You're gaining strength from every experience. You're finding yourself. Finding things out that you didn't know about yourself. Finding the strength that you didn't know that you had to keep navigating, moving forwards on this journey, trusting soul, trusting your intuition, no matter what is going on. And you are doing a fabulous job. Um, and I know it's hard to trust the physical person, your divine muscle that's come into your life and that they've pulled away and there's nothing. I know it's hard to trust. So that if that is challenging for you, trust yourself beautiful divine feminine trust yourself because you are one energy or one soul um you don't have to trust the actions behaviors of what happened in the past you trust what you saw when you looked into your divine masculine's eyes that knowing you saw the truth of who they are you know who they are and at this time, your divine masculine is in the darkness. It isn't just you in the darkness. They're having to learn to trust themselves again. Not to trust things that are going on outside of them, the conditioning, the programming, the things that they have absorbed throughout their life. They're having to get rid of that. They're having to push through and learn to listen to soul. Um, and that soul calling is getting stronger and stronger. Your divine masculine is finding their way because they're finding themselves the same as your beautiful divine feminine. Um, and I'm gonna get one more message from this deck. I look at your pictures to feel close to you. I miss you so much. So yeah, they are watching you, I feel, this Divine Masculine. And to get their boost, their strength, to feel close to you, they're looking at pictures. And that's what then gives them the inspiration to do this work, Divine Feminine. Um, so then this, there may be even, you know, voice messages or little video clips of you together. They watch those to feel close to you. And at the bottom of the deck is, I'm afraid that I won't be what you expect me to be. That's what I'm afraid of. That's what I'm dealing with at this time. The battle that goes on in my head. The conversation that goes on in my head at times. <clears throat> I'm frightened that you're expecting me to be something I'm not. I'm frightened that you are not going to love me for who I truly am. Those are the fears I have. Those are the thoughts that I have. And I know that it comes from me not feeling good enough about myself. And that's what I'm working with at this time. I know I don't show my fears and I haven't said to you that I'm afraid. But that's something that I 
I haven't been able to do in the past. I haven't been open. I haven't felt safe being vulnerable and exposed to express my feelings. I'm so used to just having to put a mask on and show to everybody else that I'm okay and that nothing, nothing bothers me. <laughs> that I'm not sensitive, that I'm not emotional. But actually, I'm all of those things. I am sensitive. I do feel fear. I do worry about things. But I've kept it to myself. And that worry, that fear is open at this time. And I'm having to find so much strength to be able to face those feelings of unworthiness. And I do get the boost and the strength from watching you. Because <laughs> I know that's what you've been doing. And I, I know that you find it a lot easier to express yourself. And you've said to me that in the past that you've been fined about certain things. You show your vulnerability. Um, and that's overwhelming for me as well because it's just never come across to anyone like this before that's so sensitive that's so open huh. I didn't know how to deal with you but I know it's a strength vulnerability and I admire you to be able that the fact that you can actually do that and that's what I want to show to you there are times when I feel as if I'm a bit behind and that I'm not keeping up with you divine feminine I feel a little bit intimidated because you're so beautiful, because you're so powerful, because you're so wise. I really do look up to you and I think so much of you, even though I haven't shown you and expressed how I truly feel about you. But I'm doing this through this reading today. So please trust me, I am finding my way. It's very difficult. Um, but I'm doing what I've got to do to find feminine in this time. And the way that I feel close to you is by going into nature, looking at your photos, all of those things. So I'm going to bring in Divine Masculine messages to the Divine Feminine from Blue Ice Tarot um, to see what else is coming through from the silent no contact Divine Masculine. What else is coming through, Divine Masculine? What is it you want your Divine Feminine to know in this time? Fear is coming through because they're frightened that you're going to think that they've got to be so much better than what they are, that they're not enough as they are, which I know that you're, you know, listening to this Divine Feminine saying, yes, but you are. I love you the way you are. I just want you to be truthful to me. I want you to be open to me, Divine Masculine. That's what you're saying. What's coming through Divine Masculine? What is it you want your Divine Feminine to know at this time? I'm dealing with my ego, yeah. The stuff that goes on in my head. I have awareness that it's not the truth. Allowing those thoughts to get to fade and to be aware of them, it's very exhausting for me at this time. So I have got a lot going on at this time, Divine Feminine. I have got those voices in my head. <laughs> that try and distract me, that tries to pull me back into old ways. Um, but I'm determined, I am pushing through. And you know yourself, Divine Feminines, at times the ego comes in really strong. You could have a time where it, things seem to settle down and you feel very empowered and you feel this, you know, strength and you're so aware of your thoughts and and you, you really feel as if you're getting somewhere and then what happens is the ego comes in strong because you're not feeding into it anymore um but what you're doing divine feminines and your divine masculine is you know retraining your mind your ego um to align with your, your mind and your heart to always come from heart and your mind will be filled with love um, 
and you, this is what's gradually happening you're putting love into situations having that heart perspective and it, it is you that goes first divine feminines when you do this work everything that you're facing within yourself your divine masculine needs as well and you may not see this in the 3d in the physical at the same time what, when you're doing it you're not seeing the results that you're you know the results of how much you've achieved but that will show up in divine timing um but whatever you're facing your divine masculine is and at this, this time the ego is coming in strong the doubts the fears of what about this what about that what if I open up and I can't give you the world what you deserve? What if I disappoint you? <laughs> because you're expecting so much of me. So these are the worries. But I'm dealing with my ego because I have awareness of my ego. My ego isn't ruling me anymore because I'm the observer now. Divine Feminine. We are one. I know who you are. And I know who I am to you, Divine Feminine. We are one. So really, this Divine Masculine has learned a lot, has a deep understanding of what's going on for them in, on this journey and why you've come into their life. Um, and I'm taking responsibility towards our connection, yeah, because I'm taking responsibility of myself, my ego. I'm dealing with my ego. Um, and I'm going to get one more from this deck. As I walk on this earth, I feel closer to you, Divine Feminine. I am getting closer to you. I know it feels to you that I'm running still and there's so much distance between us. But I am getting closer to you. I'm finding myself. And having this awareness, taking responsibility of myself, that is me getting closer to you. Because when I'm with myself, having this responsibility of my energy, I know that that's where you are. And I know that you're with me 100% every step of the way. That's what gives me the strength to deal with my ego, to deal with certain things that come up in my life. You are guiding me. I've learned so much from you and your divine masculine may be still learning so much from you by watching you. Um, and that could be on social media, whatever you, it is you're doing. You may be sharing beautiful posts. You may have a YouTube channel. You may be doing something because um, you're really getting out there, you're shining your light, helping others on their journey. And you, this is helping your divine masculine find their way. Um, but you don't know that. But trust and communication. I want to communicate to you. I want to reach out and tell you how I feel. I want you to know that I am capable, divine feminine. I am going to be strong. I will reach out to you. And what happens on this journey, Divine Feminines, um, because of the last time your Divine Masculine got in touch, it may have been very negative um, and very upsetting, disappointing, um, because they got in touch. Um, and you, you, you've you seen no difference, there's no change, and it's like, really? I can't believe that they're still showing up like this after all this work that I've done. Um, but again, you have to remember that is all divine, and it, it's showing that there's still more for you to work through with your own divine masculine energy. And what happens is we are so used to certain things happening, the disappointment, the hurt, the pain, from the divine masculine then we end up underestimating the divine masculine and we don't think that they're capable and that's just a reflection of your own divine masculine energy when your divine masculine is showing up in that way um, with this disappointment and they're, they're still not being honest and truthful with you um, it's because there is that doubt and you still feel incapable that divine masculine energy within you as well it is very deep and i know that that part 
we don't want to hear because we just want to listen to why the divine masculine's been silent and how much they love you, blah, blah, blah. But this is the important bit. <laughs> um, when you're aware of what I've just shared. Um, so this is about you really taking a look at your divine masculine energy as well and not to underestimate yourself. To know that you're capable and to see your divine masculine as your divine masculine, that they are capable of what you saw when you looked into their eyes, the truth. <laughs> you know that they're so capable and you know that they are your divine masculine and that they are the protector, the provider. You know, you felt it. And you never felt like that from anybody before. <laughs> so know that your divine muscle is very capable of finding their way. They don't, don't need you interfering. They don't need your help. And it, this is you you're dealing with anyway. You trust that you are finding your way in the darkness, in the silence, divine feminine. You're having to trust your intuition, navigating this journey in the darkness. And what's getting you through is love. And when you're giving this love to yourself, when you're believing in yourself, when you know that you're capable and you're not underestimating yourself, things in life do run so smooth and you see the light. And your purpose is to put light into all situations. You are the alchemist. So I'm going to get some messages now from my, my deck, messages from the Silent Divine Masculine. And if any of you beautiful souls are interested in any of the decks I'm using um, to receive the messages today from the Divine Masculine, and you'd like to purchase them, um, the website, the link is in the description box down below. So your Divine Masculine is very clear on who you are. And you mean the world to them. Like you mean so much to them. They can't put into words how much you mean to them. And again, you know that, Divine Them, when you're in your heart space. I'm getting closer to you because I'm dealing with my ego. I'm aware of my ego, Divine Feminine. And that one flipped out. Since, oh, two flipped out. Since being on this journey, I've seen the number 11 so many times. It has become my favourite number. I love this number now because when I see this number, it reminds me of you, Divine Feminine. And that is so on point that this message has come through because yesterday's reading, 1111 came through for the Divine Masculine Energy as well. Don't ever doubt that I love you. Stay strong and trust in what you already know. And that has made me go cold. Those words that could irritate you, Divine Feminines, and I say at the beginning and the end of my readings, stay focused, believe and trust in that deep and knowing that unexplainable love is within you is so important that you trust yourself. You know Nobody else knows, you know. And that is what's so scary because you feel as if you've been left to it. And your divine masculine is saying, please, by my silence, by me not being in contact with you. Don't doubt yourself. I do love you. You know that I love you. Stay strong. I know how strong you've been, but stay strong and trust in that knowing that I love you. Hmm. Trust that knowing that you know who I am and why I come into your life. That was beautiful. When you're feeling distressed and feeling pain, I can feel it too. Yes, your divine masculine knows when you're upset and you're feeling pain. And for some of you, things really significant things may happen at that time where you know that your divine masculine can feel that you're upset and it are in pain but this may be something that is on your mind divine him does my divine masculine know what's going on within me does my divine masculine know when i'm distressed and upset yes they do know this is confirming again what you already know divine feminine and some of you Things could happen, unique things could happen where you, your divine masculine does get in touch 
when you're dis distressed or you're shown something. God, the universe puts something in place and it's just like, wow, it's just special for you. It, it was a message for only you, but only you understand what that meant, whatever that was that happened. And I can confirm with this message that when I've been beside myself, distressed, really, really distressed, in a lot of pain, emotional pain, out of the blue, my divine masculine would message. It's happened probably about three times where he will show up and this isn't like it through in the daytime. This is like a ridiculous time in the morning, early hours of the morning. Um, because I used to do online shopping at a superstore and I was going through something at that time. I'd found some information out and I was very, very, very distressed. Um, something that I had to find out and it was just very shocking for me. So I was literally, it was like taking me to the ground. And because I was an online shopper, I had to get up very early. So this is the early hours of the morning. <laughs> Um, this is probably about four o'clock in the morning or whatever and I was having this experience of feeling these deep emotions, anxiety, all of those things and my divine masculine out in the blue and I hadn't heard from him for a long time, showed up, my phone pinged um, and there has been other times as well. <laughs> so it, your divine masculine does feel and I know that again there's things on the internet and stuff that says no your divine masculine isn't spiritual no your divine masculine can't feel this they don't feel anything that isn't my experience and I trust in what I already know and I trust in what my experience is so this could be the same for you as well <laughs> and at the bottom of the deck is your angelic touch awakens parts of me that I didn't know were there <laughs> You have such a special touch. You are an angel. That's how your divine masculine views you, divine feminine. And maybe you have touched, maybe you haven't. <laughs> um, either way, your divine masculine knows you are an angel and you have this angelic touch. And if you have had the experience of touching your divine masculine, it has awakened parts of them that they, they didn't know were there. <laughs> Um, and you just being you, even if you haven't touched your divine masculine, you have awakened parts of them that I didn't know. And it felt so good. It felt addictive. They felt things that they'd never felt before and they wanted more of it. And they did come in strong at the beginning <laughs> to keep you in their life. And that's all part of your awakening. And then things got too much and that's when they have to pull away the divine masculine. And that's when you have to um, take the lead divine feminines by doing the inner work. And by you doing the inner work, your divine masculine does as well. So this divine masculine is missing you big time. And they're doing their own little thing to feel close to you. And in the 3D, that sounds ridiculous. But you can feel it within yourself. And if my readings have been resonating with you, the Twin Flame energy readings for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, there is this thing at this time where what's going on outside is ridiculous, but you're feeling close with your Divine Masculine. You're feeling this oneness where your Divine Masculine is saying we are one. You're feeling a lot calmer, a lot more at peace with your divine counterparts. You can feel this merge, and that is what's happening. Um, but they know when you're going through big things and that you're shifting, when you're feeling. <laughs> um, so um, that might maybe something that you've been wanting to ask your divine masculine and it's been answered through this message today. Um, but don't ever doubt that I love you. I love you more than I've ever loved anything in my life before. And that has thrown me. That did scare me. And the reason why your divine masculine loves you like they've never loved anything in their life before is because you're one energy of one soul, because it's love for themselves through you <laughs> loving them. Um, so 
they're seeing the number 11 as well and yes they want to reach out they want to use their voice and my voice is husky croaky and that comes through a lot in the readings um throat sharp activation they want to tell you the truth divine feminine to take this doubt away from you to say i love you they want to tell you that you inspire them, that, you, that you're so beautiful, all of those amazing things that you know about yourself anyway. Um, so I do hope that this has made you feel peaceful when you are smiling and it has touched your heart. Um, and yeah, it just resonates with you. If you would like support on your awakening journey, on your twin flame journey, I am doing personal readings and I'm offering one-to-one -one sessions if you're ready for change and to take responsibility. But everything you do need to know about the services I offer is in the description box down below. And most importantly, remember these words I'm saying to you. Stay focused, believe and trust in that deepener knowing, that unexplainable love that's within you. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See ya.